motion in space. Now let's talk about velocity vectors, acceleration, and speed. The definition says let RT be a twice differentiable vector valued function of the parameter T that represents the position of an object as a function of time. The velocity vector VT of an object is given by, now velocity is just equal to R prime T. The acceleration vector AT, that's how it's denoted, is defined to be uh, the derivative of velocity or the second derivative of RT. The speed is defined to be the magnitude of VT, so the magnitude of the velocity, or the magnitude of R prime T. So we're just going to do each of these for this problem below. It says, given the following position function, find the velocity, acceleration, and speed in terms of parameter T. So at first, we're going to find this velocity. So what that means is we just need to find the derivative of R. Now get used to these ideas, not in terms of like velocity and whatnot, um, that's for this section, but just the idea of um, taking the derivative of R prime T. Make sure you're good with those. And again, this is just co component wise derivatives. So this really isn't bad at all. So that means for this first part then, R prime T, and I used a implies because I'm using the function itself. So then the derivative then is going to be negative e to the negative t for the first one. And then for the second one, that's going to be plus 2tj. And then for the third one, we have to know what the tan of t is, the derivative of that. Secant squared t for the tangent t. Okay, so there we go. That's our R prime T vector. So this is what we call VT. So we found velocity. So this would be our answer for the first one. Now again, like I said, that was very straightforward. Now acceleration is going to be similar. I just take the derivative of R prime T, and now I have velocity. So I'm going to do that next. So I take the derivative of, so I can say implies... Um, the derivative of vt, or I can simply say also um, the double derivative of r prime t, and that's what we see here. So in finding that acceleration, I just take that derivative. So derivative of negative e to the negative t is going to be e to the negative t, because I, um, the derivative of e to the t is e to the t, and then this is a composition or a chain rule here. So that's going to be the derivative of negative t is negative 1. So that's going to get rid of this negative out front. Okay, so anyways, oops, I'm doing my other form here. I always get back to that. I'll keep the same form just so I can be consistent for this problem. So there's i. And then j is going to be 2. So plus 2t. Oops, not 2t. 2j. And then for the last one, secant squared t, uh, the derivative of that is, so um, this is going to be a power rule, okay, so that's going to be plus 2 secant, secant t. And then we look at the derivative of the inside of the secant squared and that's going to be secant t, and the derivative of that is secant t tan t. And that would be my k. And I wrote that out as a separate step because I want you to get used to doing those by hand. Um, a lot of the schools that you guys are probably going to don't allow you to use calculators, so it's essential that you learn how to do some of these by hand, or at least remember how. So then I'm going to rewrite this now because I can simplify this a little here. So that's going to be e to the negative t i plus 2j plus 2 secant squared t tan t k. So there's our a t, and that's the acceleration. That's the second piece here. Okay, now we're going to do the third piece, which is the speed. And the speed is just the magnitude of V or the magnitude of R prime T. 
So we're going to just look at the blue one again here. So this one here, and we just have to do the magnitude of that. And the magnitude is just where I square all of the components, which are, we have three here, and then I square root it. And that's going to be my magnitude of my R prime T or my magnitude of my BT. So that's what we're going to do now. So we're just going to take that and I'm going to write BT, put the magnitude bars around it. And then I'm just going to square each of those. So I'm just going to write E to the negative T squared plus, and I really just want to write out the answer, but I'll keep my composure here. So that's going to be 2T squared plus secant squared T squared. And then, like I said, we take those and we square root it. Now, that's one of the biggest things you want to keep track of here um, as you go through all of these facts. Know magnitude. Know how to do uh, the derivatives, what they mean, r prime t. Um, learn about the tangents and all those other components as well. So just try to get those down. Makes it a lot easier when we go through the rest of the course. Okay, so now I'm just going to simplify this because we can. So that this e to the negative t squared Remember what that means. The negative times a negative, so the negative goes away outside. And then we also have e to the negative t times e to the negative t, and we add our exponents when we're multiplying. So that would be e to the negative 2t. Try to get used to those exponents, those powers, if you haven't already. And this is going to be plus 4t squared. And then the last one is going to be plus secant to the fourth t square rooted and then and then we're done that's it that's the best we can do and that's the speed so we answered all three pieces here and i just underlined the speed just so you know which goes with which so the blue one we found is velocity acceleration that's the derivative of velocity and then speed is just the magnitude of the velocity so again for this one we're just following the formulas and that's what the motion in space really means it's just the applied math here. So it's more of just formula following. Oops, I didn't circle my other answer either. Let me fix this because I kind of ran into it. Didn't give myself a lot of room here. Hopefully it's okay with you guys. So there's our answers.